ISO. We're using something called Rub and Buff, and this is in, available in gold, red, black, and silver. I'm using here. Um, I've, I've got it because we've come across this recently. This is uh, sort of a brassy, goldy coloured looking picture frame. Quite nice, ornate. Uh, I want it to match these basically to the silver. I've used a rub and buff on that to bring them up. So, as you can see, this is uh, I found the best way to use this to get a microfiber cloth and just squirt a bit on. Don't need a lot because it does go a long way. I've used it on other bits and it's brilliant. So, you can see there, I've done a bit already. So if I do that bit there and the flowers, let's see the transformation. It's supposed to be people rave about this stuff. The thing with the microfiber cloth, you see how it's just transforming everything. You can get into all the little nuts. So and as well. if you use the gold on here on brass, it'd take it back to gold. But I've been asked to make these all silver. Uh, you know when you're running a bit low because it's not quite covering it. It, it sets as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it got, so it's it got it wax off. in it as well, I think. You can actually use it, you can wash it. So, there we go again, there's a bit not done. Got quite a lump on that. Just do the frame edges first, I think. It's literally on a microfiber cloth, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. Just rub it. Round and basically it transforms um, stuff, and it's available in. I think it's available in like twenty different colours, isn't it? Yeah, it's range. about five or six pound a tub, a tube, I should say. And where can you get it from? Amazon, uh, engraving suppliers. I've seen it on eBay as well. eBay. I'm just going over that little bit there. Uh, you can also infill things with it as well, can't you? Uh, you can use it on glass, china, metal, metal door handles, you name it, you can do it. If it's not going covering it to start with, um, just put a little bit more on. Because obviously sometimes, I guess it... You don't need to use a lot, do you? No. Just like a little... Sometimes it's better to just like almost do that with it until it hardens off if it's not sticking to it for whatever reason. See, I've got a little bit there that's not quite covered. So if I just do that with it. So I'd never heard of it before. Um, we just stumbled across it and thought, oh, I'll try this. So if you had, I've seen people using it on handles on chest of drawers. And remember, this was a gold colour. So it's not a silver base and it's sort of transform that really. So if you're looking to change the colour of a metal, so that, and that sort of thing you can it's use. It's quite it. nice, it's, it's done it. Um, I've got another... That's the difference between them, isn't it? That's, that's yeah. the silver there and then that's that's what it was, that's what it is now. Yeah, and here's, here's one more of a silver colour. That was, remember that was like a brass gold colour. So this is the silver type frame. You can see how easy it just goes over, but it freshens it up. You can actually use this stuff if you've got a gravestone, and it's a bit morbid, but where the lettering has faded, if you get this and just brush it in with a, exactly like I'm doing now in the lettering on a gravestone, in gold or silver, because this has got silver leaf and the gold has got gold leaf in it, Instead of paying hundreds of pounds out for it to be repainted, it costs you six, seven pounds. It's waterproof, and then you just rub, rub it off where it shouldn't be. No need to mask up or anything. And I know it works because we recently used it to restore some lettering on a gravestone. So that's why we we got hold of it. It was the gold. Start though, with. Wasn't it was it? a gold, and it looked as good as the day it was uh, first painted. The gold's got gold leaf in, and this has got silver leaf the top that's why it always looks so good there we go so i've done those four that one there that 
And that, and I think they've come up pretty good. Those ones at the bottom there, they're more sort of decorative, they've got sort of little leaves on them. Yeah. But it's still, and it works really well on them as well. I mean, it was like and that. That's the colour it was. And I've managed to do that like just by doing that. So, let's rub and buff, let it dry off, and then literally, you can see it shining up there. Look, nice shine there. Oh, yeah, you can shine it up. Yeah, so that's what's called rub. You rub it on gently. So, hence in the, in the name of the product, rub it on gently, let it dry, and buff it off. But it is waterproof, you can even put it in the dishwasher. That's why it's ideal for outside uses as well, lettering, door signs, you name it. Yeah. So that's come up really nice. Yeah, it's a lot, but we tried to clean it, it just didn't come up. In fact, there's an old bit there, how it used to be. So that needs a little bit on there. Yeah, but that just goes to prove how much it's covered up. And you only need a small amount. So look there, I've missed there, which is probably a good thing. There you go. Okay. Hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.